गुड आफ्टरनून स्टूडेंट्स दिस इज अगेन यूर इकोनॉमिक्स टीचर उमर फारूक वी आर हेयर नाउ गोइंग टू स्टार्ट अप विथ वन मोर क्लास वन मोर लेक्चर इन विच वी विल नाउ स्टडी द मैथड्स ऑफ मेजरमेंट वी हैव गॉट थ्री मैथड्स ऑफ मेजरमेंट द वैल्यू एडिड मैथड और प्रोडक्ट मैथड विच इज ऑल्सो कॉल्ड एज द एक्सपेंडिचर मैथड and the uh, income method you might be remembering from the very first lectures that we were saying time and again one thing that production generates income and i made a circle of all the three things to make you people understand how production generates income so three steps were involved the production then expenditure me then income generated then expenditure made and again production happens or takes place so here we are going to start up with the very first thing in the measurement it is the value added method one of the measurements of national income we will have to do everything in three steps which are also called as steps in wall that is first we will look into that what the method in itself is second what are the steps involved in performing this particular method and third what are the precautions we have to take care of then we will do a few uh, numericals and that very numericals will make you understand that how actually this method is applied before i start up with the method you must bear in mind that each and every method should lead us to the same conclusions whether we take the particulars for expenditure method for value added method for income method the answer must be the same these are three approaches to reach the national income that is ndp and nnp where nnp at factor cost is national income and ndp at factor cost is your domestic income but if ever you find out anything given say gva is given gnp is given gdp is given any aggregate is given but there is nothing indicated with it whether it is at ma market price or at factor cost you must presume and you must take that very particular aggregate at market price always otherwise it will be indicated at factor cost it is compulsory to indicate if it is at the factor cost it is not compulsory to indicate if it is at the market price so if it is gdp only that means it is at market price otherwise it will be written as gdp at factor cost so dear students here we start up with our measurement when we say the first thing of all these very things what i was saying just now we will have to do one thing we will have to start up with the method in itself what the method is when we talk of the method so the value added or the product method value added or the product has come from the production method in this very method what really this method is all about <coughs> under this method domestic income is first calculated when we say domestic income that means ndp at factor cost so domestic income has to be calculated first and when we calculate the domestic income then we can add up it with the net factor income from abroad which we have already under the uh, measurement of aggregates or the aggregates related to national income explained how it happens we will reach to the national income national income but it's not so simple as it seems here because there are many many things which are involved in it so when we add up these two we will reach to nnp at factor cost so this will be our national income that's what i was talking about from the very early 
So if we have to define uh, this very thing, if we have to uh, explain that what this method is all about, value added method or product method whatsoever we call it is about, it could be defined as uh, the value added method or the product method is the net value or, or added at factor cost by all producing units, all producing units during an accounting year within the domestic territory. So if you see that this uh, definition is exactly like the definitions we have already made for all the eight aggregates, but uh, with a slight or simple change, what it says that net value added at factor cost by all producing units during an accounting year in the domestic territory. So all these very things, that means three things are important here, will give us the net domestic product at factor cost. So when we get net domestic product at factor cost, what we do? We add up it with the income from abroad or the net factor income from abroad to domestic income. So we will reach to an NP at factor cost. So you must bear it uh, here in mind that uh, uh, in value added method, national income is measured at the stage of production or at the stage of value added, when the value is added. From the previous lecture now you exactly know what is the value of output and what is value added. So, so this is the value added. So clearly the value added method measures contribution of each producing unit. So if we put all these very things in a bit technical way as we have to use it, so how we will be able to say, we'll be able to say it like uh, uh, our net value added at factor cost is equal to gross output. Gross output simply means that uh, no depreciation all has been done minus intermediate consumption, intermediate consumption, you know what is intermediate consumption now properly from the previous lecture, minus depreciation, you also know what is depreciation as I have not explained depreciation only, I have given a numerical example on it also, minus net indirect taxes and I have also explained what net indirect taxes are, taxes minus subsidies, how it is calculated. So, this is a sort of formula which is in front of us. Here we are now able to understand that how the things are calculated, how the things are done. So under this method, what we are now able to understand is that first we calculate the domestic income. After calculating the domestic income, we look for the net factor income from abroad and we add up net factor income from abroad to the domestic income and ultimately we reach to a place, we reach to a, a step or uh, we reach to a stage where we are able to calculate the NNP that is national income. This is what this method is like. You know that ultimate aim of ours is to reach at GDP. And GDP, gross domestic product, if it is not indicated, it is at market price, is always equal to C plus G plus I plus an X I would term it as. C stands for consumption expenditure, G stands for government expenditure, I stands for investment expenditure and NX stands for net exports. It is net exports, that means imports less of exports. So NNPFC or we are talking about the GDP is like this. 
so if we have to say n n p f c that is net national product at factor cost that is national income it could also be termed as gross value of output at market price so these are the interchange term minus intermediate consumption minus depreciation minus nit and plus n f i a so value added what i uh, i am saying is equal to value of output minus intermediate consumption so these are the things which you must bear in mind before we proceed with after measurement before we proceed with uh, the understanding of steps involved now let us take what are the steps uh, which are involved in it steps involved so this is the second thing you have to take care of please uh, keep uh, in mind that uh, this is the process which we are going to repeat in the next two methods so please pay the keen attention to understand it so first and foremost step involved is to identify all the producing units identifying all the producing units that means whether the producing unit is belongs to the primary sector to the secondary sector to the tertiary sector okay whether it belongs to the primary sector secondary sector or to the tertiary sector if we talk of the primary sector primary sector includes uh, such as uh, goods uh, which we uh, which we get by exploiting natural resources like uh, fishing mining logging and secondary sector produces manufactured goods by transforming one type of the commodity into another type while the th tertiary sector uh, includes the uh, like educational sector medical sector banking finance etc etc we have to identify from which this particular item has come the items which would have been given there then we have to estimate net value added net value added at factor cost by each producing unit that how much this producing unit particular producing unit, whether it is from primary secondary or tertiary how much it is <coughs> yeah, it is uh, including or it is adding to the economy and this uh, estimation of value added at factor cost by each and every producing unit will be then deducted by or uh, by uh, uh, what it is called as uh, intermediate consumption intermediate what is their intermediate consumption and you know all these very terms that is why now it will become very easy for you to understand intermediate consumption and later third thing is to estimate the net value added of each industrial sector now net value uh, I'll just put it in the short form because it is getting very uh, messy like that uh, now you will have to add the third stage you ha will have to see net value added of each industrial sector of each industrial sector so net value added of each industrial sector how we can uh, get it it is uh, got by summing up net value added at factor cost okay of producing units falling in each industrial sector so number fourth will be number fourth will be now uh, we have to compute domestic income what is domestic income as i said earlier domestic income means yes net and dp at factor cost how uh, by adding up net value added at factor cost of all industrial industrial sectors you see we are reaching from micro to macro now okay then fifth stage fifth step to be taken is to estimate net factor income from now we have to estimate net factor income from abroad how it is estimated net factor income from abroad 
okay it is to abroad and from abroad concept as explained earlier and is added it is now added to what domestic income that is ndp at factor cost in order to reach to reach at exactly an np at factor cost that is national income so dear students in short by adding net value added to factor cost by producing enterprises in the domestic territory of a country as i discussed it we reach to the ultimate aim of ours that is an np at factor cost there are certain precautions to be taken and this is a question even which is being asked in board exams time and again what are the precautions which should be taken while calculating national income by a particular method here in this very case it is net it is our value added method the first and foremost precaution precautions you must bear in mind before you calculate national income what are the precautions the first and foremost is the imputed i'll write it because i'll have to make it understand rent of owner occupied houses so here i'll give an example quickly imputed rent because you have to understand this word this is a new word to you imputed rent what is imputed rent means or imputed anything where wheresoever imputed is put so imputed rent of owner occupied house means say i have got uh, let us uh, suppose i have got a house of my own in which i have got say uh, the five rooms but i want to start up a let us say i want to start up a small factory or a small production unit where i uh, i i want to produce say candles i want to produce candles so uh, what i'll do i'll use a room from among these five rooms but that room has got a value if i rent a room i'll have to pay the rent i am not renting a room but i am using the services of a particular room in my house which i have already built on which i have already spent a lot of money so this rent is called imputed rent it is to be calculated it is to be estimated number second precaution we have to take of is imputed value of uh, i will write it imputed value of goods and services produced for self consumption see i am producing candles here in this very case i am producing candles and uh, uh, at a day when we have that uh, uh, sh uh, shifts and transactions when we don't have the electricity so i am letting up a few candles from my own production but i am using up the goods and service the goods and services i have produced so so this uh, imputed value of goods and services produced for self consumption not only for self consumption or if it is made for free distribution what is free distribution say now i am a candle producer uh, a friend of mine or a relative of mine visited me at uh, a particular day he came to my house now he stayed over and when he is leaving back home i am gifting him a box uh, of good candles from my own production that is what is it is made for free distribution this is to be bear in mind what we did with it number third precaution we must take is sale of second hand goods second hand goods is not to be calculated because it is not the fresh fresh production and we cannot put it in the current production scenario sale of second hand goods is not to be calculated while any commission or you uh, what you call it as a brokerage if at all is paid any commission or 
I would write any commission or brokerage paid on the sale and the purchase of this uh, second hand good is to be calculated it is to be calculated while this has not to be calculated so if it is to be calculated I'll give a small example for it so I bought a car, car. say I bought a car for um, 5 lakh rupees in year 2015 this car I am using for say a year I bought it for 500,000 bucks now this car I am driving for say two years that is 2015 and 2016 and uh, now I am going to sell it off I'll sell it as a second hand good okay second hand good so this won't be included but I sold it through a broker I sold it through a broker and this broker will ask for some commission or brokerage that brokerage is something new it is the income which generated in the year 2017 because I am selling it 2017 in 2017 I have uh, driven this car for 2015 and 16 17 I am selling it so this brokerage is to be included in the national income of 2017 while this sale amount of this second hand good the sale amount of the second hand good has not to be is not to be included in the national income so dear students these are a few things we must take into consideration and uh, after sale of second hand goods we can talk about one more thing that is uh, 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 we can talk of uh, output okay say value of uh, value added and not value of output okay so I'll take it as fourth it is very important because you know the difference between value added and value of output so only value added only value added and not value of output is to be calculated if we do it or if we calculate it what will happen that we will be landing ourselves into a problem of double counting as I was saying when I was showing a table regarding that farmer miller and baker so if we would take value of output as well as value added into consideration what will happen yes we will be landing in the problem of double counting so these are the things which you must bear in mind before you proceed up with the calculation of national income after all these very things we may now be able to understand a few things which we got from it we'll just sum it up i'll summarize for you people whole this concept what will the summary look like summary will be like number first value of output is equal to sales plus change in stocks so output is always at market price as I said if it is not indicated it is as market price number second value added is equal to value of output minus value of intermediate consumption or intermediate goods which is in turn equal to gross output or gross product which is in turn equal to gross value added at market price 
नंबर थ्री विल बी इफ वी समराइज द कॉन्सेप्ट नाउ नेट वैल्यू एडिड एट मार्केट प्राइस विच इज इक्वल टू ग्रॉस वैल्यू एडिड एट मार्केट प्राइस एग्जैक्टली माइनस डेप्रिसिएशन और कंजप्शन ऑफ फिक्सड कैपिटल नंबर फोर्थ विल बी नेट वैल्यू एडिड एट फैक्टर कॉस्ट विच इज इक्वल टू नेट वैल्यू एडिड एट मार्केट प्राइस माइनस नेट इनडायरेक्ट टैक्सेस विच इज इन टर्न ऑल्सो इक्वल टू सम ऑफ फैक्टर इनकम्स फैक्टर इनकम्स आर रेंट वेज इंटरेस्ट एंड प्रॉफिट एज यू नो इट ऑलरेडी सो वी आर डन विथ द मैथड द स्टेप्स इन्वॉल्व एज वेल एज द प्रिकॉशंस टू बी टेकन सो आफ्टर अंडरस्टैंडिंग ऑल दीज वेरी थिंग्स नाउ वी विल directly come upon a few things which are called as the calculation so that means we will come upon the numericals of national income in order to save your time i have already 